Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, another sunny day in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. So, today's plan is to um, uh, give you a tour around the block. I'm finally getting to it when it's like uh, just a couple of days until I leave. Um, I have to get some errands done and I'm gonna get some food. Uh, the problem is I only have like 190,000 dong which is which is like seven dollars um because i gotta buy some food and i gotta buy some lotion uh and i want to buy some fruits as well but i don't know if seven dollars will cover all that uh so my debit card was recently hacked and uh, they did return the money that was stolen, but I don't have a debit card with me, so I can't um, get cash out, which is really annoying, especially in cities like this, uh, where like most of the little stores um, only take cash, or I think they have like a local like app, um, like a local banking app, but um, I'm I'm not allowed not allowed but yeah, I don't have access to it basically because I don't have a local bank account so uh, yeah we'll just go see how it goes um, hopefully I could buy the lotion with credit card and I think the seven dollars will cover the fruits and like a cheap local meal so yeah, uh, let's get to it. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I usually walk to the right side over there, I think. I filmed that part a bunch of times, but... I don't think I ever filmed to the left. So we'll check it out this way. Small. Small. Yeah. Oh, I have this. That's the only one. Skin. Skin repair. Four hands. Okay. I need it for uh, that too. Japanese restaurants on the street. I remember 
offered us a bunch of different chicken and rice spots. Lotion costs uh, 14 US dollars. It's pretty expensive. I was expecting to spend like five bucks on it. Uh, yeah, I bought it for my tattoo. So, okay, let me get some sauce here. So, I better heal the shit out of that tattoo. Spicy sauce. Chicken second is crispy. Oh, I already saw like three chicken and rice spots on the street. Oh, okay, Let's see how the soup is. Soup is alright. Like a simple vegetable soup. It's um, kind of cold. Actually, uh, the majority of the time I get that soup, it's like like a room temperature. So maybe that's just how it comes normally. I had it hot a couple of times actually. Good meal. It only costs like a dollar twenty or something. Man. Oh wow, that's good. I pickled. I don't know. I think that's cabbage. Yes. One of my favorite things about this country, or the city at least, there's no shortage of food. And all the local stuff's pretty much like less than two bucks. What the drink is probably like two fifty. Pickled cabbage is good. It's slightly sour flavor. And so I was watching um, Mark Ween's videos and <laughs> just trying to study how he has like so many different adjectives to describe the food. And that's what I like about his videos, so I'm trying to train myself to 
describe things better, but I suck at it. And they got like crispy garlic on top of it. And my knees are still not fully used to these, uh, these little seats. I haven't seen any other countries use these little seats or around Southeast Asia. It saves a ton of space. I'll get back to you guys. Man, that meal was good. And if you have a, a motorbike, it's like a... Yeah, if you have a motorbike, it's like... Every street is like a drive through restaurant. And you'll see just people like um, pull over get their stuff to go and just head out. Yeah, you can see there's not a lot of people walking. Bicycles are on the street. I actually saw a bicycle on the highway the other day. pushing her cart on the on the highway the other day. It was crazy. It's like rush hour too. Yeah this bun me right here is fucking delicious. Sausage one, it was so good. I put like this spicy sauce in there. It's like spicy mayonnaise or something. Yeah. I never had that before, it was really good. So, yeah, now the mission is to find some fruits. Finish walking around the block. Sugar cane juice. Oh, 
they're really honest too. <laughs> I was gonna pay 23, but it was only 10. been able to understand me so far. Every time I try to attempt to use Vietnamese, no one knows what the hell I'm saying. This whole city, you just walk around the block and all your shopping then. Yeah, as long as you want local stuff, uh, I'm sure you can find it like within a one block radius. this before but there's way more foreigners here than I expected I saw a bunch of Koreans a lot 
lot of Europeans. Actually, it's a lot of bananas. Only got like uh, two more full days here. Hopefully, I could finish this. This is the way I walk back from Jiu Jitsu. It's a bit different in the daytime. Yeah, this country loves karaoke just like Korea. That was where I ate earlier. I gotta make a right here. And yeah, I love this city. If I could just uh, learn how to speak the language correctly. I think. I think it'll, it'll be a lot better for me. Yeah, the air quality isn't the best here. So you see a lot of people wearing masks. Yeah, people in Asia have been wearing masks before COVID. It's because of uh, either the air quality or just from any kind of sickness. might look kind of um, unsanitary but I think um, a good measure is to see how many locals are there but then yeah I'm not sure I've ate at places where there was nobody else but me and I still haven't gotten sick so I mean I hope it doesn't happen before I leave but Yeah, it should be good. 